According to the Florida Program for Shark Research, 2023 saw an unnerving spike in fatal shark attacks, 69 unprovoked and another 22 provoked, with Australia representing a disproportionate amount. This is within range of the normal number of bites, though the fatalities are a bit unnerving this year, according to program head Gavin Naylor. Shark nets are the most common preventative against attacks in Australia, but do the numbers suggest it's time for new measures? One new method of not only deterring sharks from swimming areas, but also preventing attacks, comes from an Australian-led study on the impact of LED lights on sharks' ability to detect the silhouettes of potential targets. Using seal-shaped decoys, of which surfboards are often perceived as by sharks, these lights disrupt the ability to recognise the object, leading to a reduction in the rates of following and attacking these artificial prey. Lead author Dr. Laura Ryan from Macquarie University reports that juvenile sharks in particular are unable to differentiate between seals and surfboards, and it is such cases of mistaken identity that often leads to attacks. And according to Dr. Ryan, the brighter the lights, the bigger the deterrent. While the study is still ongoing, the practicality of lighting surfboards with LED lights and the effectiveness on various species of sharks are still being tested. The follow-on effect of such measures could mean sharks are both less likely to return to areas where hunting activities may be disrupted, and will be safer in deeper water, less populated by humans. But why was this needed in the first place? The obvious drawbacks of shark nets are their limited coverage. Sharks are able to swim around the nets, and they can get tangled up, and if not already dead, certain species can legally be killed. Typically made from mesh material, they span over 100 metres and are anchored to the sea floor, with the aim of reducing the number of sharks swimming into shallow waters where humans might become the target. But it's not just sharks impacted. Many forms of marine life get caught in the nets, such as seals, dolphins and turtles, again ending in death from suffocation, injury or drowning, and proving how outdated and unsafe shark nets now are. These animals, whilst not the target of shark nets, represent up to 90% of marine life caught up in the mesh, often fatally. Of the 228 animals caught up in shark nets in New South Wales between 2022 and 23, only 24 were sharks from targeted species, great whites, bulls and tiger sharks, according to the Department of Primary Industries, and up to 25% of animals caught were protected species representing a real environmental threat. While a paper from 1997 by shark scientist Sheldon Dudley reported an impressive 90% reduction in shark attacks across New South Wales, Queensland and South Africa, more recent studies suggest there are many elements at play when considering the number of shark fatalities, such as faster response times and updated medical capabilities. In New South Wales, the 51 designated shark nets are removed during migration season for some degree of protection for these mammals. But there is still the question of effectiveness versus environmental impact, leading scientists to research alternative and more effective eco-friendly measures that may also be more effective in preventing shark-related injuries. To fully consider the best way to handle shark and human interaction is to understand it is their home first. And with climate change already impacting behaviour and migratory patterns, eco-friendly measures to prevent attacks must be the priority. Beyond the obvious measures of not swimming at dawn or dusk, when bleeding or in murky water, the safest measures for summer beachgoers remains swimming between the flags at patrol beaches, at least until such time that safe alternatives for both shark and swimmer are widely implemented.